Today we're in the incredible city of Agra, ready to immerse ourselves in its vibrant culture. Join us as we take you on a highlight reel of the city, from tasting the delicious Angora pepper, exploring all the must-visit tourist spots like the Taj Mahal, and meeting so many friendly locals along the way. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out, as we'll be spending the next three months here in India uncovering what makes this beautiful country unique. Now let's jump into the video. Body out, straight onto the street. So we're both petrified of horses, by the way. Oh, we're gonna go get some chai, Miss Garlic. Oh yeah, look, got some chai. in the authentic pot. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, okay. uh, two, two chai? Yeah, two chai. Uh, it's nice. Uh, no, no, thank you. <laughs> one for you? No, thank you. Do I want a whip? A whip? Yeah. <laughs> what? I have backpack. Is it really? It's bigger. My bag, bag it's only small. small. It's a bowl. It's a bowl. It's a bowl. Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Lesson number one, the people of Agra are good salesmen. Who knew that chai and whips went so well together? Like a nice guy. Aha, smile. Okay. That looks good. Yeah, thank you. How much? We just watched a guy like whip up the chai from raw. Jesus. So and it was pretty uh, pretty cool how he done it, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Proper authentic chai outside the Red Fort. Let's try it. Almost bought myself a whip as well. <laughs> Bloody hell, that's hot. Ooh. Oh, it's nice. It's spicy, isn't it? Yeah. Very spicy. Very, Very good. good. Thank you. Thank you. It's attempting to cross this road now. Okay. Gaz with his chai crossing the road. Oh, the hottest chai known to man. Ah, oh, oh, it's burning my hand. Oh, give it here, give it here. Oh, 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 my God. Right, just give it here. Ah, oh, I just burnt my thumb. Go. We're in the middle of a roundabout. I'm trying not to get attacked by a horse. <laughs> well, look how far the red fort goes back. Actually crazy. And if you didn't know what we're doing, we're trying to avoid the horses, but we burn ourselves. Should we just stand here next to this wall? Oh, oh no, no we, thank you. we have, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Chai. 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 Very, very good. Very good. Thank yeah. you. No problem. Thank you. See you, bro. Bye. And then we're doing the authentic way of drinking chai, which is just find a random space on the street, right? Ah, oh, I've really burnt my thumb. I wonder if it's going to blister. Oh god, it warms you up. This one's particularly spi spicy, spicy, like yeah, aromatic. Flavy, flavy, like I kind of like. I kind of prefer them like this, though. Yeah, I it's agree. some good chai. Warms you up. Yeah, so you want any guys for it? No, thank you. Wow, mm. well, this is this is wow. really epic. Look at that. Since we didn't get to go in the Red Fort in Delhi, now we're treating I ourselves think this in Agra. Looks better than that. It literally looks like a castle that like kings and queens live in, doesn't it? Uh, a fort, then. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. it's obviously it's similar stupid. to a castle. Like a... But it looks so grand, doesn't it? So it costs 650 per person. Uh, what's that, seven, eight dollars, six pound fifty? But yeah, it looks pretty sick, so let's go in. The first thing we both said was, wow. I think we didn't actually know what Agra Fort was, did we? No, the walls we are like... so large, aren't they? They're like so tall. And it's also red, similar to <laughs> the Red Fort in Delhi that we didn't get into. But it's called Agra Fort or Red Fort here, isn't it? Yeah. So it's like you can have either name. The doorway. Uh, exceeding expectations so far. Yeah, there was some pretty stringent um, security to get in there, wasn't there? Yeah. There always is in India. And if you want a guide, there's loads of them outside yeah. who'll do it for a tip. <laughs> So even though we're in a cloud, it's really, really beautiful in here. So you've got beautiful, well-kept grass, no litter anywhere, which is unheard of in India. And I feel like the clouds does actually add to the red fort. It just makes it really mysterious. I feel like our whole time in India has been mysterious just because the weather's always been super cloudy. Look at these details up on the walls as well. Actually crazy, like, I couldn't even paint that, let alone make a building out of it. <laughs> Hello kids, and welcome to History with Gaz. In <laughs> Abby did not have a clue what was coming. In today's class, we're gonna talk about Agra Fort. This fort was built 
by Mughal Emperor Akbar in 1565 and is very, very nice. Keep learning, kids. So the man just handing out squirrel food and some lady was just held a squirrel in her hand like letting the squirrel eat from its food, eat from her hand which is really odd. He asked me if I wanted to do it and I was like, I'm alright thanks, don't really want to... Pay you to feed your squirrel. Yeah, but it was <laughs> cool to look at. <laughs> On the road again. We just went the wrong way down a short carriageway. I'm a big famous. Famous? Yeah. Oh good, okay, yeah perfect. Yeah. Thank you. So I asked our rickshaw driver if he knew where we could get their famous suite that's famous here in Agra called Petha and he's taken us to the famous shop apparently so I'm super excited because I really wanted to try this here. So. It's a really really cool famous story about these suites. So the guy who built the Taj Mahal, Shah Jahan, if I'm saying that right, wanted to come up with a suite that was as pure as the Taj Mahal. So he sent all his chefs away and they came up with Petha and now it's really really famous in Agra. Only one famous. Test it first. Here we go. Mmm. Nice. Very nice. Very, Very sweet. Mmm. Nice. Yes. It's like crystal, crystal sugar. Sweet flavoured. Really watery actually. Nice. Mmm. Good suggestion. We have all different colours here. This one no loose packing. KG or half KG. Oh, KG no. or yeah. half KG. No loose packing. Oh, okay. One KG in half KG. Yeah. How much is that? 150 rupees. 150? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Should we we'll just buy... get one of these? Yeah. We'll buy one of them, please. One bucket? Yeah. yeah. So it's meant to be the purest suite in the world, and it's also white to match the Taj Mahal. So our rickshaw driver's taken us to the. Oh my god, there's a monkey over there. Monkey and he's limping. He's got. Oh, he's got half an arm. Oh god. He definitely doesn't don't want him anywhere near me. Anyway, we're at the mini Taj now. We're getting to get tasters. The little Taj. The little Taj. The little Taj. It's getting tasters all day for the big event at the end of the day when yeah. uh, the weather is it's actually like, looking it's better. Like now. We're at, it's like the warm up shows on, and we're about to go to the headline act. Literally. As you explore Agra's sites, you discover the indescribable beauty of its unique architecture, a defining feature found exclusively in India. Look at this, it's literally like a mosaic painting, isn't it? So intricate, so many details. Wow, it's literally insane. Are you gonna make me a house like this, Gaz? No. Oh. You're lucky if you get a caravan, I think. <laughs> That's so true. You want to say hello? Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> hello, hi. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, my name is Gaurav. Gaurav, are, yes. you, are you from here or? Agra, Agra, Agra. Agra, Agra, Agra. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, cool, cool. Yeah, come, 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 come. What does that mean? They can work in it. Uh, they can kill now. Um, What's your name? Uh, isn't, it, isn't it? Yes, yes. Ah, cool. Gaz. Gaz, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice you to meet you. You like it. You'll, like be, it. you'll be in the video now. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> one day, one day. You are one day, yes. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, bro. <laughs> Legend. Honestly, we meet, so many, guy, meet yeah. so many lovely people across India. It's madness. So friendly. Thank you, sir. Here we are, we've been dropped off outside the Taj Mahal. Very, very exciting. Obviously, it's like number one of the number one things you can do here in I've India. I've never heard of it before. What's ha, it? Ha, ha, ha. I've never heard of oh, this look place. Look at these kids playing the ball. Yeah. Cute. Anyway, yeah, let's go inside. We've done the number one thing you're not meant to do, which is buy a ticket off a tout. But to be fair to the guys, they've got a little hustle going on where they're selling us a ticket that they've bought online and then the guy at the gate didn't scan it, so I reckon they're all in it together making some cash. So as long as we're in, we've paid our money, I don't actually care. So very clever. good on them, very clever. But yeah, excited to get our first glimpse of the Taj Mahal. Main gate we think to get inside. At first we were like, that's not the Taj Mahal, but it's we were like, it's meant to be white. <laughs> but even this looks pretty spectacular and it looks like the mini Taj, doesn't it? So. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. The cl clouds have cleared and I'm excited to see how beautiful it is. Welcome to the breathtaking Taj Mahal, where love is etched in every marble stone. 
built by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan as a tribute to his beloved wife, this iconic monument is not just a symbol of eternal love, but also a masterpiece of architectural wonder that will leave you completely speechless. Whoa, it actually looks insane. It's obviously pretty busy because we're here at like one of the busiest times of the day, but with the mist and stuff, you can only really come in the afternoon. But look at it, it's absolutely spectacular. The gardens around it are stunning. It's crazy that it almost kind of blends in with the cloud in the background, doesn't it? Yeah, like, it's it is. So white. It is. It's every bit as spectacular as you imagine it being in real person, isn't it? So I think we might have had the first ray of sunshine in like four days when we visit the Taj Mahal, which is pretty epic that it's decided to come out now. For the rest of the afternoon, we relaxed in the gardens and of course attempted to get that perfect picture. While Agra's stunning architecture impressed us, the highlight was undoubtedly the warm encounters we had with locals that day. Throughout our journey, we found that Indian people are eager to connect, asking about our adventures in their country and sharing valuable insights. Our advice to you, don't just visit the monuments in Agra. Take a moment to engage with the friendly locals over a cup of chai. There's so much more to this city than the Taj Mahal. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.